guys, it's Izzy and happy Friday. This is the first Friday that I have posted on this channel and honestly it feels just a little weird. But today in this video I'm going to be talking about the old money aesthetic. is solemnly based around the wealth and classy aspect of this lifestyle. Personally, when I think of this aesthetic, I think of the royal family or Gossip Girl. But, however, there are differences between old money and new money and I would like to talk about that in this video before I get into the fashion part. So, since new money is recently earned and old money is passed down from generation to generation, that means that people who are considered old money, they are more private when it comes to their riches. But of course, I feel like social media has a big part in this, especially with people who are considered new money. But since these people are new to having a lot of money, I feel like they want to spend it and they want to show it off. Personally, I adore this lifestyle. I wouldn't consider it as an aesthetic. I mean, Maybe for us who aren't born into it like that, but for other people, it's a lifestyle. It's the way that they were brought up, born into, that sort of thing. So it's more of a lifestyle. But right from the start, you have to make sure that your clothes are fitted well. If you look at the royal family, you always see their clothes tailored to their body type. So now I would love to talk about the clothing pieces that you would typically see in an old money wardrobe. When I look up old money on Pinterest and I scroll, I see a lot of preppy cardigans. People are pairing it with a button up blouse. They're usually wearing the cardigan above the blouse and wearing a cute skirt with it, maybe a tennis skirt. I also see a lot of tennis skirts because people who are classy, who come from this sort of background, they like to play tennis. I also see a lot of sweater vests when it comes to this sort of wardrobe. Also, if you want to go for a more mature look, blazers are also really cute. You can pair them with trousers or just a wholeless, very fitted type of jean. I see a lot of pictures of Princess Diana wearing black jeans and white. I've also seen a lot of white shorts as well. When I was looking up all the clothes, I noticed that neutral colors were very prominent, like beiges, whites, um, nudes, like a light pink, whites, blacks, grays, also um, navy blues, like darkish, lightish greens. I think those colors are just considered more classy. Also, again, if you're going for the more mature, I'm the queen of England type of look, then matching sets. Also, tweed skirts. I see a lot of tweed skirts and honestly, they are really cute, but I'm not a skirt type of person. So personally, I would not wear that. I see a lot of trousers as well and Princess Diana wearing them. Also frilly socks, you can pair those with loafers or Mary Janes. I love a pair of Mary Janes. I actually have some myself. And headbands. If you have watched Gossip Girl, then Blair likes to wear a lot of headbands. Personally, I feel like a hairstyle completes an outfit. Also, jewelry is very important. I looked up online and they said that gold is considered more classy, but personally, it all depends on skin tone. And if you look better in silver, then obviously you're gonna look your best in that compared to gold. Also, pearls. Um, I'm wearing fake ones right now for the sake of this video. But pearls are a staple when it comes to old money. 
Like Ralph Lauren, there are a few other brands that these people like to shop at, like Chanel for one, Burberry. Also, J. Crew was also very popular. Also, Brunello Cuccinelli and the Barber Jackets. Also, I feel like Ray-Ban sunglasses are also a key factor. They are very timeless and you can see Audrey Hepburn, Marilyn Monroe, and Princess Diana wearing them. So yeah, those are just a few brands that I would like to mention when it comes to shopping for an old money wardrobe. But that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like, maybe a comment. If you enjoyed this video, then maybe consider subscribing to this channel. I have a video up every Tuesday and Friday. So yeah, I will see you guys in another video. Bye.